In a stunning display of power, the Comancheros have seized control of Christchurch's underworld, claiming the old Rebels MC clubhouse as their own. Just weeks after absorbing the entire local chapter of their once bitter rivals, the Comancheros have established a new gang fortress that sends shockwaves through the criminal underworld. The revelation, brought to light by the New Zealand Herald, exposed the ruthless strategy employed by the Comancheros as they swallowed up the rebels, bolstering their own ranks with former enemies turned loyal soldiers. A photograph obtained by the Herald captured the transformation of Jared Singer, a former patched member of the Christchurch rebels, now fully adorned in the colors of the Comancheros. A chilling reminder of the power shift that has taken place. For a significant period, the rebels had established its heavily fortified stronghold in the industrial expanse of Thacker's Key, nestled within the eastern suburb of Wollston. On the front walls of the clubhouse, the distinctive Rebels MC Christchurch sign proudly displayed the club's insignia, featuring the Confederate flag, the Rebel skull, and the notorious 1% symbol. However, within the last few days the look of the club was completely changed. The once boldly displayed sign, which had become synonymous with the Rebels' presence, has been unceremoniously taken down from its perch, and replaced with the bright yellow Comanchero signage, displaying its infamous falcon insignia, a symbol that instills both fear and respect among those familiar with the criminal underworld. This act marks a significant shift, leaving an absence that hints at a change in power dynamics within the Christchurch territory. In recent times, the Comancheros have faced a challenging situation in Auckland and Canterbury as their member numbers have dwindled to a concerning low. This can be attributed primarily to a relentless crackdown by the police. Law enforcement agencies have intensified their efforts to disrupt and dismantle criminal networks operating in the region, specifically targeting the Comancheros. Through strategic operations and proactive measures, the police have successfully disrupted the club's activities, resulting in a notable decline in their membership and an increase in the prison numbers. <laughs> The once formidable presence they held in the region has experienced a noticeable decline, leaving a void in their ranks. As the Comancheros make their bold move to establish their new presence, their quest for resurgence becomes all the more apparent, aiming to reclaim their former strength and influence within New Zealand's underworld. While the Comancheros have achieved a significant milestone by acquiring their first dedicated clubhouse in the Garden City, the Rebels have suffered yet another setback with the loss of their second clubhouse within a month. This development unfolded when a group of Rebels ventured to Timaru, a port city in the southern Canterbury, and successfully took over the highly sought-after clubhouse belonging to the rival bikey club, the Devil's Henchmen. Their bold actions, including proudly displaying the Rebels' flag on the balcony, created tension in the town, and attracted the attention of the police, media and the politicians. The situation took an unexpected turn as the henchmen expeditiously sold the property to the council for a substantial sum exceeding $1 million. Consequently, the rebels were forced to vacate the premises, and the buildings were subsequently demolished. This loss of the clubhouse has undoubtedly caused the rebels both embarrassment and frustration, as they now face the daunting challenge of finding a new stronghold and rebuilding their presence. Born out of Australia, both the rebels and Comancheros have a long history of bitter animosity between them. However, in a twist of fate, their paths converged in New Zealand, forging unexpected connections. Notably, Luke Mathers, the president of Rebels MC Christchurch, and Sienna Ficosoli, the former acting commander of the Comancheros at a national level, share a bond that stretches back to their days residing in Queensland. The dark secrets of this association were unveiled through police operation Cincinnati, which exposed Ficosoli's role in clandestinely delivering substantial quantities of methamphetamine to Mathers. Several club members pleaded guilty to multiple methamphetamine and MDMA-related charges, after this police investigation in 2020. Operation Cincinnati, saw 26 people arrested and kilos of drugs, multiple firearms and more than $10 million in assets seized. Several senior rebels and Comanchero members were also arrested, this included rebels Luke Mathers and Jared Singer, and Comanchero Sienna Ficosoli. Jared Singer himself has a vivid criminal history that spans multiple incidents. In 2019, 
he faced legal consequences when the police in Christchurch arrested him on three firearms charges. These charges included the unlawful possession of a 9mm rifle and 8mm pistol, as well as multiple rounds of ammunition without proper authorization. In another incident, Singer was involved in the abduction of a man and subsequently forcing him to a drive over the Southern Alps. Moving on to 2021, he was implicated in a double shooting at a property in Kayapoi. The shooting incident involved Fairmont Joseph Wiringi, a member of the Mongrel Mob Aotearoa chapter, and several individuals associated with the Mongols. Additionally in 2022, Singer was subjected to a sentence of either home detention or community supervision, stemming from his involvement in Operation Cincinnati. Notably, Singer following his arrest, chooses to admit guilt for every charge brought against him to receive a reduced or more lenient punishment from the court. Police in Christchurch are closely monitoring both the latest development and the new clubhouse, as it holds significance within the criminal landscape. With their keen focus on these matters, law enforcement agencies are committed to staying updated and informed. By keeping close tabs on the situation, police aim to gather valuable intelligence and ensure the safety and security of the community. Interestingly, both clubs have chosen to remain tight-lipped about this transition, offering little information to the public through social media channels. The veil of secrecy surrounding this significant development only adds to the air of mystery and intrigue, leaving outsiders to speculate about the true nature and implications of this newfound connection. The interactions and confrontations between rebels and comancheros are highly intriguing and fascinating to observe. The power dynamics, the shifting of influence, and the competition for control of the territory create a captivating narrative.